Hi, and welcome to this new series of vloggy things. Um, I think I'm going to discontinue the uh, Hex Flixel vlog um, for now, at the very least, because I don't know, I think maybe it's kind of reached a point where maybe it can take a break. Uh, sorry if I'm letting some of you down, but um, uh, also, to be honest, maybe I was getting a little bored with it, <laughs> and that's why there haven't been many videos, and uh, so uh, let's uh, look at what I'm up to next, and why these are vlogs and not tutorials, <laughs> kind of just following my interests, really. So, as you can see, I have this website, The Nature of Code, up. Um, so, The Nature of Code is a book on coding. That's very cool. Um, it essentially tells you how to do procedurally generated things. Um, you know, like uh, building worlds with math, essentially. Um, but this is a book for processing, which is kind of a Java-based uh, visual scripting kind of environment but I want to show how these things can be done with hex and OpenFL so that's what this new uh, vlog series will be about um, so yeah if you would like uh, go to natureofcode.com and you can see this and you can uh, buy the ebook bundle for ten dollars or more or even less if you want and I highly recommend that you do um, before it was released I I, uh, I uh, paid probably like 15 bucks or something and I got early releases and you know got to donate but here's another cool thing about this if you scroll down you can read the entire book online for free and uh, this is essentially uh, what I will be basing our, or my, <laughs> vlogs upon. Our. Let's say our. We're in this together, aren't we? Anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this will teach you lots of cool stuff. You know, like, uh, it starts off vectors and forces that sounds really boring, but that's actually what's at the core of a physics engine. So you'll be able to, like, make a physics engine after reading this. And yeah, even here, physics libraries, and then some AI, cellular automata, and that kind of thing. And then uh, evolution of code, I think that's, uh, what is it called, genetic uh, uh, algorithms. Um, you know, so you can sort of imitate, uh, uh, you know, the way g genetics work. And um, then... Neural networks, which uh, also uh, ties into um, artificial intelligence in a bit. So yeah, it's a really cool book. Um, I'm going to go through it and show how some of this stuff is done in Hex as opposed to uh, Java. And actually, Hex and Java are related, so a lot of it is very similar, um, but a little different. So um, yes. That will be this new series, and let's get to it. That was a really long introduction, I'm sorry, but uh, 